Dear colleagues, uh, ladies and gentlemen, as you know, we're facing a health crisis of cataclysmic proportions. And uh, the fulcrum of this crisis is now Europe. In fact, Europe now accounts for about three quarters of new daily cases of COVID-19. Italy and Spain are the worst hit, but France and Germany are not so far behind. So we at the ESC have uh, tried to put together some short practical podcasts for you coming directly from the region of people with the greatest experience in this disease. And let me, first of all, thank them for the time that they have taken out of their very busy schedules to share their experience uh, with you. In addition, tonight, I have two messages for you. First, uh, do not forget the needs of patients with cardiovascular disease. Even now, even this year, there will be more people dying of cardiovascular disease than of COVID-19. And in fact, patients with uh, cardiovascular disease will be more likely to die of COVID-19, up to 15 times more likely. So it is our duty really to protect our patients also to protect ourselves and not being part of the problem and infect our patients because we are infected and not aware of it. The other important uh, fact that is emerging is that at this time and particularly in the worst hit areas, hospital admissions of patients with acute coronary syndrome has reduced by 75%. This doesn't mean that acute coronary syndrome have gone away. If anything, there will probably be more patients with acute coronary syndrome, as it always happens when an infection is going on. But they don't come to hospital. Because we keep saying that hospitals are dangerous places to go, and that is certainly true, then they stay at home. They stay at home and they die at home. And those who come to hospitals with STEMI uh, are coming later and uh, with complications such as cardiogenic shock and others, that, and therefore they require ITU bed ventilation and more attention. This is very important because it needs to be clear that don't come to hospital does not apply with patients with STEMI or other acute syndromes. The second message that I would like to uh, convey today is that think not only inside, but also outside the hospital and do lobby with your National Cardiac Society, your local and national government to instigate lockdown because lockdown works. Here you see the graphs of the deaths over time in Italy, in uh, uh, gray, and in Spain, in blue. And you see where they are now and they, where they would have been if lockdown hadn't been started. And you can see the stars in the graph marking the beginning of the lockdown. And this reduction in death is uh, secondary to a reduction in new cases. So less infection is buying us time. And that is very, very important to have that extra time, as we have learned from Italy, for instance. So in summary, we must engage both inside and outside our workplace. We must alert our patients and the public that they need to come into the hospital if they have uh, chest pain and all the, we have to be able to offer a rapid and safe triage for these patients at the hospital because we must continue to save the lives we know how to save at this difficult period. We also need to lobby our government and local authorities 
because, as I said, the lockdown works and by precious time for all of us, for the patients, for the doctor and the health system. So having said that, we will be back soon with more uh, podcasts for you, more information from the front line. And in the meanwhile, stay safe. Stay safe for yourself, your family, and your patients. Goodbye.